Hey YouTube, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I need your help. I need your advice on something here. Uh, I want to tell you about an experience I had, and you can tell me what you think uh, if I'm off my rocker or not. So, uh, if you're a coin dealer and you have a shop, I really want your feedback on this, especially. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I had a customer come in who I haven't done a lot of business with in the past. He's an older gentleman, and by older, I mean he is probably over the age of 80. And he had brought in uh, some rolls, some tubes of 40% Eisenhower dollars from 1976 and 40% uh, Kennedy half dollars from 1976. And so they're the bicentennial 40% coins by the tube, right? And so he brought these into me and wanted to know what they're worth. And it has paper documentation talking about, you know, what a great, deal they are and the condition that they're in they're all proof 69 and proof 70 coins and in fairness the coins are nice inside of there but historically those are coins that the half dollars we'd pay about two and a half dollars for and we sell them for about three to three and a half and the ike dollars forever and i mean forever we've paid like four or five bucks and sold them for six or seven right so bear in mind silver was not thirty dollars an ounce at that time it was you know 17 but the point is, those prices have been static for a very long time. He was paying something around $14 each on the halves and $14 each on the dollars. And um, I, I, was, I just told him, I said, look, I, I don't think that these are priced right. These are coins that we sell for $7 on the dollars and $3.5 on the, on the half dollars. I'd pay two and a half bucks and five bucks or whatever. And, uh, you know, to me, as someone who's done this a long time, you know, what he's dealing with looks to me like uh, someone who's going to try to sell inflated priced coins to people who don't collect coins. That's what I see. Coin dealers, please tell me what you see. So the weirdest thing happened. The guy got back in touch with the person who sold it to him. And the guy who sold him the coins actually called me. And so the conversation was interesting to me because I think he truly believed his own shtick. Like he was arguing with me about the price of the coins and was very upset that I was in some way denigrating him and his business. And uh, how would I like it if he stood out front of my shop and was telling everybody, you know, bad things about the things that I was selling, you know, and I just told him, Hey, uh, this is, I'm just seeing the coins in front of me and telling them what I price them at, you know, and then the guy got really belligerent about, well, you got them for sale. What do you sell them for? I'll buy them all. What do you got? You know, and just kept going on. And, you know, it was really a strange conversation. Finally, at the end of the day, I told him, look, why don't you have your customer or quote unquote mutual customer, get an opinion from a few other coin shops and find out what they say, because, I feel like our market is just very different than your market, you know, because this gentleman truly believed uh, that this, this deal, dealer truly believed that um, selling these Ikes at $14 that I've sold at $7 forever is how you do things. And, you know, I thought about it and I thought, well, you know what, if he's in some place where the economics are completely different, where, you know, rent is $3,000 a month instead of $700 a month or $1,500 a month. All right. I mean, you know, I, maybe the economics are different where he's at, you know, but it, it was just a strange, strange con conversation because I've never had any of those type of places give anyone a call back, let alone call me because typically for the gentleman who bought the coins, typically by the time he turns around, to try to return them, the company is typically out of business uh, and has moved to a new location. So anyway, uh, give me your feedback. Um, am I out of line? Uh, you know, just let me know what you think. I'm really curious to find out. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thank you.